Hello and welcome to Jim Dawkins' instructional hitting video, hitting video where I'll show you the keys to making your high school baseball team. The first key to hitting is getting in a comfortable stance. Your feet should be about shoulder width apart and the weight on the ball is your toes. Now, the, you're either going to be in a little bit open or a little bit closed stance. An open, uh, a closed stance is for hitters who usually go to the opposite field and an open stance would be for hitters who usually pull the ball. Also, you're going to want to make sure that you're at a correct uh, distance to the plate. So, for example, if you're facing a pitcher who throws a lot of fastballs, you're only going to get further back in the box so you can catch up. If you're facing a pitcher who throws a lot of off-speed pitches and curveballs, you're going to want to be closer up in the box so you can hit the pitch before it breaks. Also, you're going to want to make sure while you're in your stance, you hands, you keep your hands very high right about where your ear is. Not only do you want to keep your hands high, you want to keep them very loose as well. Something you should do before the pitch comes is get a little movement in your, in your hand right here. Because it's a lot harder to hit a ball at a stationary position than it is to already be moving a little bit. So you want to keep your hands loose, bat moving around, and you want to make sure that your door knocking knuckles are uh, connected together. And that's some knuckles that you hit with the door like this. So these knuckles are together, your hands are high, and when you swing, you'll roll the bat over to create the majority of your power. Number one thing you want to remember when you're hitting two is to make sure your weight is on your back foot. That's how you're going to generate the majority of your power, is when you keep your weight back and drive through the ball like that. Also, once you have your weight back and your hands up, it's time to take your stride. And remember, your stride is just a little step with your front foot. A, a step too much far to the right or to the left could throw your balance off, and a step too high could also throw your balance off. So you want to step with a slight upward motion into the pitcher. And the last thing to remember before you're ready to swing is to pivot on your back foot. It's just squashing the boat. So you're back here, your weight is back, your hands are high. You take your stride and then you pivot that foot. You twist your back leg and you're ready to swing. And the point thing to remember is not rotate your front leg. If you rotate your front leg, you're going to be out and you're going to be way off balance. So remember, stride, twist the back leg, keep your front leg straight. All right, now you're ready to hit the baseball. The thing to remember when you're ready to commit to your swing is having a smooth, level swing that starts up high and goes right through the zone, very level plane. You don't want to dip your back shoulder and hit a pop-up, and you don't want to dig this shoulder too far to the ground and hit a ground ball. So you want to keep your hands high, finish straight through the zone, and coming up and finishing high by your shoulder. That's how you generate the most of your power. If you go through the zone and finish low, you're going to hit a ground ball. And you don't want to finish right here because then you're, it, restra it restrains your swing. So you want to stand up here, finish through the zone, high by your shoulder. Remembering these steps of hitting will ensure you a spot in your high school baseball team. Thank you for watching Jim Doggy's instructional hitting video.